Hi guys, my name is Ekaterina, Ekat for short, and today I'm bringing you a cardistry basic tutorial called Russian Pyramid. It's such an impressive move when performed to other people. Yes, please go out there and perform cardistry for other people. I love this so much. It took me so much time to perfect that last triangle on the pyramid, but people can relate so much to the process of building a card castle that when you end up with that final result, they're so patient, they watch you and it's super exciting. It also looks great on video. I hope you guys use it. Another piece of announcement, congrats to Megan who was the random winner selected from last video. Without further ado, grab your deck of cards and let's get started. You take your deck of cards and the first thing you need to learn is how to perform Brian Tudor's Revolution 3 move in both hands. And this is what it looks like. So that's the Revolution cut, but that's Revolution 3. Okay. So essentially, same as a charlier cut, you're going to lift. In this case, I do want you to lift exactly half. So the first thing will be to split the deck in half. That I don't think I need to break it down and split. So you see how you just roll that, use your fingertips here and get in that position. Now you can do things with your thumbs not a charlier cut but very similar you start exactly like this charlier cut but instead of lifting that packet you're going to bring your fingertips together look i lift and i bring the fingertips together so look how it works i just bring my thumb down and the fingers here clip the packet it's a really 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 fun feeling and then the cut by Brian Tudor is essentially using gravity afterwards to slowly get that packet to rotate. It's a very uh, cool cut, actually. All right, so you've learned this. You're able to whoop, scoop that packet, open up your fingers. Obviously, you need to keep... Ah! That's a good demo. All the cards on the floor. And it's hard to perform when the deck is not full, so... Um, a few moments later. As I was saying, it's a little difficult to do this and open up the fingertips and not leave at least one finger to support. So you absolutely need to leave the index finger right where it is. And I'm doing exactly the same thing in my other hand. When you're first learning, do this one hand at a time. Okay, so this is a move that probably might require an investment of one month of just practicing because there's a lot of elements, but it's so worth it. You just have to trust me on this one. So you got this, you're opening things up. So I'm just reaching here and cutting that packet. So exactly what you see right now, if you're holding this in your left hand, you will um, proceed with a cut, squeeze, bring the thumb here, let gravity put pull this packet down, you split it, and you're ready to go. Now, from this point, you can't move forward without connecting the two sides together. So let me catch up here, do that split, and I'm going to insert both of these together. And the best angle to show you is gonna be from the front here. So I'm just putting these together and it's forming the very first triangle and then I make myself comfortable and I need my thumbs to grip the top, top a little bit better so that I could then release, again, gravity is your friend here, I release and the bottom will drop forming two other triangles. So here the thumb grips, it's okay, use your body if you need at first to get this. So that is the topless pyramid. That's the very first move I came up with. And um, then I spent, I'm not lying, a whole month trying to figure out how to get the top to work. So from the top, no pun intended, you're going to go here, proceed, split, insert, release, let the bottom fall. I put cardistry basics in the title, but I have to say this is a little advanced. So you have this. So here, if, if the walls 
on the sides are not thick enough, don't have enough cards, the pyramid will crumble. This is exactly what happened here. But let's get back to another angle just so you have a clear understanding of the movement of my thumb. And I'm doing a little bit of variation here instead of taking exactly uh, half of these packets, I'm taking one third because that way I'm guaranteed to have proper walls on the sides and I felt like I was missing support. So one third is what I would recommend. See how I just tilt and lift. Oh, two aces. Tilt and slowly, slowly lift. That is a perfect pyramid. Love it. Now from here, you're gonna go back, tilt this down, tilt this down, lift here and slowly lift here and close as a book. Rotate this way. Cut the deck in half, cut one third in each hand, perform Brian Tudor's move, catch with your fingertips, split, squish them together, release tension, the walls will drop, move your thumbs, pull down, this is very fragile, you don't wanna mess it up, you pull down, Pull down and then the other way so that it has a little edge and the other one. So you're here. So you're gonna pull this down, pull this down, come up here, come up here, go like this and you'll see that it, it will just work. It will just close this way and then you flip everything over. It's not a complicated closure. Final overview, you're gonna cut the deck in half and then one third in those individual packets, perform Brian Tudor's move, squish, put them together, release some tension, those walls will fall pretty easily, your thumbs will move the top card slowly, edge it and slowly it goes up, display, this is a moment where you need to be very, very proud of accomplishing this move. Slowly bring the top down, and the closure like this. That's it, you made it. Guys, don't forget I have an entire playlist of cardistry basic tutorials. So don't forget to check that out, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys very soon on Thursday to be exact next week. Do not miss it.